Right, so the beta's been out for a week now, and I think it's time I give you all my thoughts on the game as it stands. Uh, let's start off with first impressions of the game. Overall, I was, I was overwhelmed with how different the game felt uh, to the previous titles. I know I've only covered two of the main nine, but trust me, trust me, we'll get to those soon. Uh, the beta really needs to set the standard on what a victory road is going to feel like uh, when the game releases. So, does it good, do a good job of that? Well, for me, it doesn't. I feel like some of the gameplay mechanics are awkward, clunky and outright just don't make sense. Like, the focus duels were always a big game of numbers to me in prior games. So, like, you had dribble versus block, highest start always won, that kind of thing. But... In this, it, nothing really seems to work for me. Like, uh, if I'm playing against a level 5 and he's dribbling past me, or even if it's like a level 30 dribbling past me, uh, it's always the same result. They win. Uh, for me personally, uh, they need to go back to what they said in the past showcase where they said that they want to keep things simple because uh, this isn't simple. This is, uh, quite frankly, the complete opposite of uh, simple and there's far too much going on uh, in terms of like the gameplay. But that's not even the major problem with the gameplay for me. Uh, there's something far more potent. Uh, with that being the breach system, essentially what breach is, for those who don't know, is that the, when the game starts, there's a 10% chance uh, on each match that your players can instantly beat the goalkeeper, score a goal. Which sounds awful on paper. Uh, well, it gets much worse <laughs> as uh, there are passive skills in the game which uh, each player have and like they can level up as their rarity gets higher so they gain more passive skills and some of the players actually have you know a breach increasing skills which then turns the uh, the boost and from a 10% into a possible 20% which is complete bollocks you know I'm all for experiments in games but taking and like taking risks as well but this was a risk not worth taking and using breach logic here, I 120% believe here that it should be removed completely from the beta. And if not the beta, the full release at a minimum. Because it's a feature that can be abused and will hinder a ton of players from enjoying the game. Now that I've covered the gameplay, I think we should take a break from that from now and just move on to the shopping rarities and just everything else like the, the beta can offer. Starting with the shop, and I hope it's just a beta feature and not like in, a full, in the full game release because having to be required to play online matches to earn certain items. Not an ideal plan for somebody who just wishes to stick to offline game modes. I know, like, once the the game releases, I can avoid this altogether, but, like, I really think that locking items and, to an extent, players behind, like, on, behind the online and with the state that it's in, don't worry, I'll be getting to that in a, in a little minute, it's a complete joke of an idea. Like, how, with how the beta is structured, having to earn rewards in the game and spend those resources that you earn from doing those, like, duels and, like, winning 1v1s and all that, like spending those resources that you win in game for like players in the shop difficulties like equipment it's just really tedious to me and it creates a very large hole once players start to play it what i mean by that is like say like on day one right you get um people who will ignore the story ignore chronicle mode ignore all that and they just play online they'll then get like a, a head start and a lead and then when everyone else comes from those modes it's going to be like very unfair because they're going to have such a high advantage over them. They'll have these level 10, level 30 players compared to the level 1s, you know, with no equipment, you know. It's just, to me, it might cause a divide and to come to bring it back to the, the point of the gameplay, like it might even just like uh, hinder a ton more players from enjoying the game online, that is. Uh, so overall, the shop's fine for a beta, but it shouldn't be in the final release, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, as for the rarities, I can confidently say I dislike them. I just find that the whole team passive thing it really tends to be annoying, as it creates a meta for players, and if you know me, if you talk to me in the Discord, you know my absolute uh, distaste for meta and certain players being picked over and over and over again. Um, yeah, it just, like the whole passive thing is just so annoying and it creates this meta and everyone just sticks to the meta and it ruins the point of having you know this big roster of 4500 plus 
you know, dudes to pick from to select and build your creative teams completely makes that useless if there's a select pool of dudes that are just all really, really good for online play. You know, as far as rarities can go, uh, they can stay in the beta as well. Now we get onto the main issue that I've been seeing everywhere and uh, oh, issues that me and my mate even encountered on day one, of course, being the online and how horrible it's been over the past week with the unbalanced matchmaking and the connections of the game being super unstable and horrendous to play on. It's amazing that anyone has completed games, to be honest with you, and even like ranked up, you know, to like past gold. <laughs> Like, I've been on Discord and chats and YouTube uh, streams where I've spoke about how rushed and thoughtless this online like was during the build-up of the beta. And there were like reports I've been seeing of the online being like potentially added uh, at a later date. And it was kind of like a surprise when like, oh cool, we're kind of getting online on day one instead of like, yeah, um, you know, as a later release. It's because they rushed it and they had no thought for it you know, like for a system to construct and it's just, it's, it's really like, it's showing to be honest with you because of how unstable it all is. So it's a given that it's really like a bad first week for it and with how infamous the Nintendo Switch online program is, I can't be too critical of it for now um, because their online is an absolute joke. Uh, having to rush the online with how like long this game has had in the oven is a bit like jarring to me honestly and I'm starting to wonder what's going on at the level 5 HQ for them not having like from not having anything done for it but still working steadily on the game for like what feels like 20 years at this point is really mind boggling to me and I'm not too sure what's going on uh, it's got me a, it's got me even more worried than I was than what they were releasing news wise every sporadic evening so overall the game really the Overall, the beta's really disappointed me. I was wanting this game to feel amazing, but what we got was a game that just doesn't feel like Inazuma in the slightest at the moment, and it's really, really heartbreaking for me. Really hoping that these future updates that we've been promised actually fix the majority of the issues that I've presented, um, and I'm really looking forward to the PS5 and Steam releases later this month. So I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for that, but until then, I'll be sporadically playing this to pass my time. For me, it's uh, it's not looking good. 